Hi everybody. I'm here today with no makeup on, which I know is very brave of me. Uh, but I wanted to show you how the Trini London makeup products work on older women's skin like mine. Um, we need a little bit more help than younger skin to uh, enhance it. And uh, I think that these products are really good because they don't overdo your makeup. Um, they're very light. They uh, bring out a dewy look um, and they're, because they're quite moist and they are so convenient. I mean, look, this is them. Uh, each one snaps together like this so easily. Unscrew the top. Um, and so when you've done your makeup, you can just take a couple of products that you want to take with you during the day to top, to top up, touch up, um, like maybe some lip gloss or lippy or um, maybe a little bit of concealer, whatever it is. Um, and they pop into your handbag and they're so convenient because they're small, you don't have to take large products with you all day. So let's get started. So I've already put some moisturiser on and I'm now going to use Trini London's BFF cream. This is her secret weapon. Uh, it's wonderful. Um, it's got SPF 30 in it, which we all need, don't we? Even on these grey days, we need to protect our skin from the sun, believe it or not. Um, now this goes on really easily. If you go away for a weekend, you can squeeze some of this into one of the empty pots that you, when you make an order with Trini, you always get an empty pot or two and it's fantastic because you can put some of this in it take it away so you don't have to take the whole tube you see she's thought of everything hasn't she now you can already see can't you that um that i've got it all over my face put a little bit on my forehead even though i got a fringe as you never know but you might see it um and it's looking lovely and dewy and to be honest with you, because of that, I don't use um, foundation. Um, the next thing is I put a little bit of, uh, it's called Victoria, and it's a BFF cream for uh, around your eyes. And I put that on. Just put it on this side and then I'll rub it in. You'll get used to using your fingers. I was a bit cat candid at first. I didn't really like it. I do use brushes for some things, um, like the lips and, and for blending. But there you are, so now a little bit on the top too. A little goes a long way with all of her products. Um, so don't overdo it. Oh, a bit of a overdue. Now, at this point, I must tell you about um, her little uh, cleansing pads. Because as you're using your fingers, you need to clean them in between each product, don't you? And they come in a packet, and then you can put all of them into a little pot to keep them um, moist. And so you just have that beside you just to clean off your uh, fingers in between applications. Quite a good thing also to take with you in your handbag, because if you are applying during the day, you don't want to then wipe your hands on your clothes. Okay, so that's so that's that done. I think that's all. Make sure you dry your fingers after using those uh, cleansing pads. Yeah, I think that's good. Now um, I'm going to use um, uh, Zandi which uh, you can do a uh, questionnaire on their website and it will tell you your match to me uh, products. And this was the one that was chosen for me and it does work. Again, put a little bit on, a little goes a long way and then blend, blend, blend. I mean, that's what you have to do with all makeup, but this is very important with this. And it's very easy to do because all of her products are, are very moist and they go on so easily. A little bit around that, you know, where you get that sort of crease, don't you? Around your nose, well I do. Um, got a little blue mark there.
So there you are. That is literally all the foundation that I use. Now we'll move on to the eyes. Actually, I forgot just before you do your eyes, there is this incredible product that Trini has brought out. It's called Miracle Blur. You may have heard of it. It sells out so quickly. Uh, she's constantly having to make more. And this is what it does. I mean, we need it, let me tell you. So you see those lines I've got just here? They literally blur them. And it is a miracle. I keep this with me at all times. I have terribly deep lines on in between my eyebrows and I'm not keen on having them removed. They're, they're my sort of, I don't know, lifelines, my laughter lines, my worry lines, my... Um, there you are, above the lips. Do you get those lines just sort of going upwards? Oh God, aren't they awful? But anyway, they're fine. With this, you needn't worry about them anymore. Can you see? I hope you can, but they've definitely reduced quite a lot. I mean, it's just nice if you've got, I mean, I wouldn't use this every day, I'm not that vain, but um, it is nice if you're going something special or you're having your photograph taken or something, just to look a little bit sort of lifted. Anyway, on to the eyes. Now, um, everyone does this differently. Um, and uh, so uh, it's really good to watch the Trini London videos uh, on her website and you'll see all different, so many different ways of uh, uh, combining these products now, but you'll get into what you like best. And I, the first thing I do is I put a little line, I've got this little brush. In actual fact, it was a makeup artist um, from Trini London uh, who recommended this brush. I think it's by Zuba. I'll put all the details uh, in the post or under this video. And I literally just do just at the corner, not, not a line. I'm not talking about a dark line all the way along your lashes but it just gives your eyes a little bit of definition. So you see, you do have to use um, uh, a brush every now and then, don't you? So it's not all fingers. I and you can, again, if in the evening, if you want something a bit more uh, a bit stronger, you could um, use a darker colour, but that's the one that I particularly uh, like. Right. Next, I use Wisdom. Now, I do use my fingers, but you may not like doing fingers. I didn't in the beginning. This is Wisdom, and all it is, this would be for me just a day look in actual fact i don't really my day and my evening look aren't very different but i might put a darker color in um like empress or something in the uh, socket line at night but this is just to make your eyes pop out i've got weird colored eyes they're sort of bluey greeny gray uh, nothing to find they never when you're answering a questionnaire online they my eyes don't sort of fit tick any box but anyway i suppose overall they're sort of more blue than anything else um but you can see can't you that just giving it that sort of um smoky color above on the lid makes the eye color pop out a bit more so that was wisdom right now you might want to just use a brush uh, again, this is a Zuva brush and just make sure that it's all blended in. But you don't have to. Um, it's very much um, designed to use with your fingers. OK, now because you've used that colour, remember now to uh, clean your fingers that you've used. And onward and upward. Next, blusher. Now, I love blusher, and I know, you know, there are all sorts of subtle ways that you can 
uh, use it and you know you shouldn't have too much blusher because you don't want to look like a clown but I have to say that this uh, blusher called Wigs uh, from Trini London is just perfect. It, for me, I'm quite a sort of pastel coloured person um, and this is just a sort of rosy pink. Just gives you, and I have to say, I just put it on the, the apples of my cheek. And I know there's all sorts of videos telling you where you should put it and, you know, and, but, I just, because I smile quite a bit in my cheeks and I just love that sort of rosy glow and this is, well, I mean, I hope this never gets uh, discontinued because it's perfect. Um, what I do do is I use um, a, a blender buffer brush like this and I do do that just a, bit, a little bit, so a little bit of colour goes up there. But honestly, it's, for me, it's uh, uh, all about the rosy cheeks, it's not too much. And I know you're meant to put it slightly above your cheek bones when you're um, our age, because everything drops a bit, but you know where to put it anyway. You, you'll know the best place for yours. Now, the next thing is, I'm going to show you this and you, you might not like it. I'm gonna put it on. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I do quite like it. Some days I just quite like it. It's called Kate. <laughs> it's dark grey and it looks really scary, but it isn't. Um, and it just, right, the idea is to give your cheekbones a bit of definition. So you just literally put it, do you see, just like that. And now, now at the moment it looks like a grubby grey stripe, stripe, doesn't it? But just blend it. You might find it easier uh, with this. Maybe if you use a brush, you'll probably have to use a bit more because it obviously does come off with the brush. But just to give your cheekbones a bit more definition. So, I mean, some people would use a bronzer, wouldn't they? But believe it or not, this actually works. This grey, I, I can't understand why, but I suppose because it, what it does is the grey creates a shadow. But anyway, be careful with that. Make sure you do it in front of a mirror um, and really look to see if it's blended because nothing worse than sort of a grubby grey look. But that's, that's the idea on that one. Now, um, moving on. <laughs> To lips now. I'm uh, Trini will often use her fingers for her lips. She's got lovely, big, luscious lips. I haven't, um, and most times during the day, I would just put a bit of lippy. This is this one's called Cordy, and I'd put that on. But because I'm doing this makeup video, I'll just show you now. This is called Phoebe, and uh, most of the blushes can also be used on the lips. They're called lip to eye uh, products. And uh, this one is one of those. It's too dark for me on um, the uh, blusher. Though if I'm feeling I need a bit of more lip lift, I will use it mixed with wigs. But no. Nah. You don't need very much, do you see? So there you are, you can see it just gives your lips a sort of more natural colour. Um, Phoebe that is, I love Phoebe. Um, I mean, you could put little bit of uh, lippy like this, because it's a Phoebe's matte. So you could put a little bit, bit over the top, gloss. And as I say, you can wear the gloss on its own. It's a lovely, lovely product. Now, next up, <laughs> You might want to do a bit of highlighting. Hang on, I've lost my highlighter. Hold on one second. Uh, it's called Starlight. Um, here you are, my Starlight. Um, haven't got my glasses on, so it's more difficult to read the bottoms. Um, 
Starlight is, it's just a fantastic, quick uh, lifter. Look, just put it under your eyebrow. Uh, put it down here. On your cheekbone. Having said that, the, the, uh, Trini's products are quite uh, moist anyway, so I put a little bit there, I put a little bit, Trini taught me this, but in the middle of your lip. Don't know what it does, but I'm, I trust her completely. Um, and now, if you don't like that sort of shiny look, uh, moist, dewy look, <laughs> hate the word moist, don't you? Uh, this is called, oh, I don't know what it's called actually, face, face finish, there you are, face finish. And if you, if you feel that you're too shiny, you can just maybe dull it a bit with this. Personally, I like the, the uh, dewy look, but you know, some of you won't like that. So there you are. Um, you might. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off camera and do my uh, mascara because otherwise uh, you, I might poke my eye out and then I'll come back and show you the finished look. So there you are. The mascara wasn't Trini's, but I'm sure she's going to bring one out very soon. Um, but that's the finished look. Uh, it's, I think, uh, if I didn't have so much lipstick on, if I just had the gloss, it would be a great day look. It's also with the lipstick and everything's fabulous evening look. So if you're going to work or something and you want to uh, go out in the evening straight from work, you can take the products with you and just uh, sort of add a little bit more, a bit more deeper color. Um, and there you have it. And I absolutely love her products and I really think you should try them. Uh, the Match To Me system on uh, her website is very good. It works really well. And uh, I hope you like the finished look too.